and finally we have the host only networking so host only networking is used to create a network that is completely contained within the host uh, computer so we have this host computer ladies this host computer and then all the virtual machines which are created here they create a network which is contained within this host so this is host only what happens here vm and host computers they are connected using a virtual network adapter that is visible on the host operating system so what happens here we can see maybe we can see on our computer in our windows operating system for example windows 10 we have like this vmware network adapter vm1 uh, so that vm1 is actually configured as host only virtual machine so this adapter will be used to communicate with these virtual machines in the host only network and clear it and what happens here in this host only network we can configure these ip address by ourselves as well we can i mean, I mean statically we can manually configure the ip addresses here like this or we can also can assign or we can also configure some dhcp virtual dhcp and then ip addresses will be assigned by this virtual dhcp to those all virtual machines and how to implement this as usual we have a virtual switch so that virtual switch is provided by this uh, virtualization software vmware so in that virtual uh, switch we also have i mean we have a by default switch already created there that is vmnet1 so this vmnet1 provides um, this host only networking and in this case these virtual adapter from these virtual machines are connected with this switch like they all are connected with this switch and then like here and like here and then we also have a host network adapter here so this host network adapter is there and then this host network adapter is actually also connected with this one with the virtual switch here and now this network will basically be contained within this host machine now the difference is that now in this case these these virtual machines will not be able to access the internet so these virtual machines if they want to use the internet they will not have so by default this will not be possible but we have other ways but by default let's say they, they will not be able to talk with the internet because this network is contained within the host it means that the boundary of that that network is within the host itself i think and then computers on the external network like uh, like these uh, maybe laptop at my home or these nodes or these nodes they they are even on the same network but they will not be able to communicate with these these virtual machines which are basically host only it means they can only can communicate with the host and they can of course they can communicate with each other but they cannot communicate with the rest of the world so for example if we want some private network for something then we should go for this host only network because in this case the rest of the world is not able to communicate with these machines now to demonstrate host only networking again we have these two virtual machines kali and windows 10 and now to join this kali virtual machine uh, with the uh, to create host only network we know that we have a virtual switch so by default we have vmnet1 so vmnet1 actually is a, a host only network so for that we just go to edit virtual network setting and we can go to network adapter and here we can select host only and this host only if you select here this host only will be connected by, by be connected with the vmnet1 which is by default created having host only configuration there so just select this one and then for windows 10 as well we go to edit virtual machine setting and go network and instead of net we can select host only and click ok now we can turn on this Kali machine and we can also turn on this Windows machine and meanwhile we can also see that we can create the new virtual switch as well 
view our new network so for that we need to go to change setting and then we can say add network and add network we can create any other virtual network so indirectly a virtual switch so maybe vmnet 15 and say okay so in this way we will be able to create a new virtual switch or new virtual network so in this way we can custom, uh, create other virtual switches as well in the same way we can also create a bridge network and and it is a net network so in, in addition to by default virtual switches we can also create custom networks this is what i wanted to say so now this is we have connected like say we cancel and that we have connected these two virtual machines with vmnet1 which is basically providing us this host only networking so now to verify i'm going to log in into this windows machine as well so w o r t enter so this is windows 10 is booting and here meanwhile we can see the ip address of this kali for this we can go to terminal here and this is ip not ip but i config and we can see this has got in this ip address 216128 so this is the ip address which is actually given by here so if you go virtual network editor here you can see this is host only and the host only you can see this is getting an ip address here from some dhcp you can see here 192.168.216.0 so this is the range so this is in the same range in the same way we can also see windows 10 as well so in this windows 10 you can see here like I want to verify the ip address here so for here we can use ip config and this is 192.168.216.129 and now if you want to verify that this is the ip address which we can ping like from here to verify the connectivity in between these two virtual machines so we can say like ping 192.168 and then this is 216129 216.129 oh, 216.129 and you can see we are getting reply it means Kali is connected this virtual machines so in this host only network we are able to communicate with I mean these virtual machines are able to communicate with each other anyway we have discussed some of the points of this uh, virtual networking I hope this was a bit helpful for you and we can discuss further about this in, in some of our future videos. Thank you.